Ryan Steinekert with Justin Grohl, football coach of the Rich Rebels. Uh, coach, a 28-14 win over Kanab. How did you guys make that turnaround from 0-5 to, to that win? You know, the kids just started believing in themselves. It was a different feel from normal, and they just kind of had that, okay, it's we got a few people back, and it's okay, we can step up and do this. Was there any other element of just, you know what, we're 0-5, so let's just go out and have fun or anything like that? You know, we had a big uh, good discussion um, after the Parowan game and decided, you know what, are we going to turn the season around and, and keep going or are we just going to quit and give up now? And and so, you know, the kids really took that to heart and, and, and they responded very well. I, I was really pleased and proud of them. Kanab scored first and uh, – in, in other games, there's been not that a moment of like, we, well, I'll shoot, we're, we're down, we give up, but kind of a, a little bit of a letdown after the other team. There, that didn't happen on Saturday. You know, they had scored soon enough that we still believed that we had a lot of time, a lot of game left, and, and so it didn't phase us as much as, as it could have in the past, yes. Coach, sometimes, you know, with that oblong football, sometimes it bounces your way. You got a few of those on Saturday. Yeah, it's all season long we've had it bounce totally against us, and finally it's bounced on Saturday, bounced right in our favor. You know, and I'm pleased I'll take that any time, but it doesn't always happen that way. And But I think it turned the game around. I mean, that one where Jaden Nelson, our center, run it into the – just bounced right to him in a full stride, and he ran it right to the end zone. You know, that was a game changer. That totally turned every every tide on everything and gave us a little boost that we needed. And that kind of – Kanab started thinking, hey, maybe I could just kind of tell and see their heads drop a little bit. And and I told the kids, hey, we can't let up now. This is, this is what we wanted. This is what we were waiting for, and it's happened. Now keep after it. Sometimes it's that, that bounce. Sometimes it's like Landon Hunting, that pick six. He just read it perfectly. It was where he needed to be and picked it off for the six points. Also, Coach, your two scoring drives were exactly what you needed at those times. That was just – it was perfect, both of those drives at the end of the first half and in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you know, they executed. That's one, That was one of our big goals is sustain a drive. And they actually started believing that they could do that. And – when everything fires on all cylinders, it's good. If not, things go bad in a hurry, and we found that out. But I have to credit everyone. I mean, our line did a lot exceptional compared to what they have. You know, they wasn't. They had a few people jailbreak and come through, but for the most part, they stepped up and did what they're supposed to do. And then the the other all the skills guys kind of just took it and rolled from there. So it it wound up being. A really good thing. You know, we, we'll take every, any win we can get. We'll, we'll take it right now. So here's the golden question for you as a coach. How do you take that into this week against Duchesne and not regress back to a lot of the mistakes you were making in the first five weeks? You know, Duchesne's a totally different team. They're bigger, stress, faster, stronger than, than Ken Ab I, on watching on field. One thing that I, I do believe that the kids need to realize, though, is, yes, we did win. But we've got to come back down and, and start playing. You know, you got to reground yourself to this is a new game, a new week, and you've got to prepare for it like you have prepared for Kanab. And just go out and play your game and be ready for it. Football may be a little unique that way. Volleyball, you talk to coaches and as well as we've got to execute what we do. And basketball, you think about the other team some and defend what they're doing a little bit. But football, it's you have to focus so much on both what you do and what the other team does. Yeah, you know, we've watched lots and lots of film and, and, and all, everyone does. But you enjoy the, the win as it comes and then you have to, to reground yourself because that's got to be put behind you and, and everybody's coming to get you. So you have to start refocusing and, and do it all over again as if you hadn't done it in the past. And so that's what I'm going to kind of take to them this week is, hey, reground yourself. Let's start. You know, it's a total different season from now on. This is all region play. And now it really counts. You know, in the past I kept saying, well, it really didn't count. Now, now it counts. Now this is where we're going to go into the playoffs. And, and so we've really got to focus even harder now. And sometimes that's hard towards the end of the season. Some of the kids are beat up and, and the younger kids are saying, well, now wait a second, do I really want to keep playing and get beat up every week? But, you know, we've kind of scheduled a few things so that they keep playing right to the very end too. And so I think that if we'll just keep our focus, we'll be just fine. The next three will determine playoff seating. Coach, anything else you want to touch on? 
I think that's it. I just appreciate all the community and their support and that for and the success that they allow us to have. So that's it. Coach Justin Grohl, the Rich Rebels, thanks for your time. Good luck with Duchesne Friday. Thank you so much.